Today we're going to do a quick tutorial video on how to fine tune the frequency of your new receiver. Now this is something that you should do any time you get a new receiver. Real quick, I need to power up my receiver, so let's go ahead and plug in the tiny go. All right, so once we've got your receiver connected, go ahead, go into your model setup. And we are going to come down to our RF frequency fine tune. Um, to make this a little bit easier and more accurate, we're going to enable low power mode and then go up to your frequency fine tune. And we are going to start decreasing this number until our RSSI is lost. So we're just going to scroll down until we lose it. It's doing big jumps at a time. There is a bit of a delay, so with each move, just go ahead and give it a couple seconds. Telemetry lost. All right, so we've lost it at negative 55. Let's go. RF back. signal critical. Telemetry recovered. All right, so we've got it back at negative 50. Negative 51. Still good. Negative 52. Still good. Negative 53. bouncing but it's still holding negative 54 negative 55 lost. all right so negative 55 we Our lost critical telemetry recovered we lost it at negative 55 so we are going to write that number down telemetry lost negative 55 now that is our minimum number. So we are going to come back up. Telemetry recovered. Go back to our starting point, which is zero. Give it a second, let it regain. Now we are going to do the same thing, but with our upper number. So we're just gonna keep increasing. Telemetry lost. So we lost at positive 16. Let's go back. Telemetry recovered. Now we'll slowly increase. Until we lose our signal. Telemetry lost. So we lost it at positive 15. So we are at 15. So this is our negative 50 is our minimum and positive 15 was our maximum. So we want to tune this so we are perfectly in the middle between both those numbers. So let's go ahead and do some simple math. Let me telemetry recovered. regain telemetry. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this because we no longer need that. Lost. Now that we have our, or our negative, our lower number and our higher number. So let's go ahead and just do some simple math to find the middle. So negative 55 plus 15 gives us uh, negative 40, divide that by half, is a negative 20. So we want to go to negative 20. And this is our right in the middle between where we lose signal on the high end and lose signal on the low end. So this is our best case scenario This will give us our best results with our new receiver. 
and that's all you have to do. Um, so it's a pretty simple process, but it's well worth doing. So make sure you do not skip this step when you get your new receivers. All right, so I hope this was helpful, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.